hey what's up guys welcome back to antiquarel so we will continue with our django project so in the last video uh, we created our first project we created our first application as well and we ran our application and this is how our application is looking like so we have installed uh, this this uh, this install worked successfully and it is saying congratulations to us and now uh, we are running the application on localhost which is 127.0.0.1 and port is 8000 now let's close the server once to see whether uh, how to close the server so what you have to do you have to go back to your terminal and you have to press ctrl c to close uh, the application uh, to, to close the server so the server, server is uh, closed and now if you will uh, go back to your chrome browser and if you we will refresh then you can see you can't uh, um, connect to the server because it is stopped and uh, here in the terminal if you want to again restart the server then you have to again write this python manage.py and run server so if you have already written it before this then you can also press uh, up key so that you can see which uh, key which commands you have entered earlier so let's start this server again and let's see by refreshing the page again and it is working properly and here is a migration message or warning you can say which tell which is telling us that uh, there are uh, some migrations which are unapplied and uh, this can be done after uh, we will uh, migrate our admin table and there are a lot of tables already uh, which comes with Django for giving us access to the Django admin panel so we don't have to worry about it right now so we will go back there so uh, let's uh, explore our application first so this is our first app uh, directory and here you can see that there are a lot of files which I already explained you so uh, in this views.py we have to define our views here with the views which will be uh, reflected here in the, this uh, uh, browser so we will define our views here and every view will have some kind of URL uh, which from which is the address of that particular view so we have to define that URLs as well so let's go to this first project directory and here is uh, there is a file which is known as urls.py here you can read that it is uh, given what it is all about so here you can see there is a URL already which is for admin admin slash is the url so whatever uh, like uh, let's visit to the site so this is 127.0.1 8000 so after that we can write admin slash and it will give us the uh, this this url will be called and the corresponding uh, view will be uh, shown to us so here it is saying it is fetching the URLs from some other application which is the admin application which is already pre-built in Django so what we want to do we want to uh, de uh, declare our applications URL here so we uh, in the first app there is no urls.py so we will create one urls.py which will be consisting of all the URLs which will we will use in the first app so let's make a python file urls so uh, urls uh, this is the urls.py and here we will uh, write the same urls so let's just uh, copy this code and just paste it here and let's uh, remove this one as okay and let's write it as index so this will be our index the url will be the index and this path which might be seem familiar to other guys because this path uh, is uh, is integrated in django 2.0 earlier it was used to be url and brackets and then we uh, we used to uh, write here regular expression for simplifying this django has uh, uh, integrated another uh, this path uh, feature which we, now you can have alphabetical uh, name here directly so now what we will do and here what we can do let's just remove this code and from dot or you can say from first step so this dot means the current directory import views so we will import all the views here and now what I can I will give this path method takes 
uh, three parameters uh, one is the URL second is the method which we need to call so views dot let's say index will be a method which we will call and its name so name is let's say index again and I'll explain what this name is all about and when to use it and why uh, it is uh, you know necessary for doing something so let's say so this is our first app dot urls dot py and now we uh, need to tell this project that we have some urls in our another application which is first app so what uh, we have done here we have uh, imported the include as well so this is inside the django dot urls dot conf and now what we will do we will say that let's include another path which is first app first underscore app slash oh sorry slash now we will include the urls from our first dot first app dot urls okay so all the urls from the first app will be included here so see one more thing i want to tell you is that if uh, we have uh, just to declare this particular url inside here then then also there was no issue we don't have to uh, use this include in that scenario but why we are doing this because we can have multiple application and we don't want to uh, get confused by names or by having the same urls so that is why we are making different urls.py for different applications so right now we have only one application but uh, if we talk about large uh, large environment then there can be multiple applications and we can use these application directly from this project to another project so this is the um, best way to doing this so so they, uh, we have this uh, first app dot uh, first app slash as uh, the uh, main url for uh, this first application and after that uh, we have this index so how this url will be called so this will be like uh, 127.0.1 uh, colon 8000 slash first app first underscore app slash index so this is how this url will work and uh, so there is in the main project there is first app and after that in the dash uh, first app urls we have this index so you have to identify um, the path how it is doing and how we are uh, doing this so uh, this is the url now we have declared here th this index method which is not present in views so let's make it so here we will write def which is how you define a method and let's say it index okay and we will pass the request here and what i'm going to do i am returning an http response so obviously i have to you know uh, this this can't understand the http response so i have to import it so from django dot http i will import http response so django comes with everything so you don't have to you know uh, uh, you have you don't have to install any library or something like that you just have to give them reference by using the import so here in what which response we want to return is like let's say hello world okay which is the first application whenever we use so this is kind of thing we can do okay so what we are doing whenever this index will be called we, we are returning an http response and that response is hello world so we uh, we have this thing ready this thing is also ready and we start index we are referring so now let's uh, and one more thing uh, which is good about django is don't have to restart the server again and again once it is uh, started then you can write your code you can modify your code and you don't have to restart the server again and uh, one more thing which i <laughs> forgot to tell you is that i have changed my uh editor's theme because i'm working in night and that white theme is kind of uh, you know uh, it's like uh, it's it, it is straining to the eye so that's why i have changed to dark theme so uh, let's uh, run this url now slash index and yes you can see there it returns hello world so this is how you will 
uh, return this uh, uh, HTTP response so we will use templates in future and uh, th that is how it should work because no uh, web application will display this kind of message so there will be some uh, um, headers and all those HTML stuff so we will we will use this render then when we will talk about the HTML templates so this is how this is our first application which is not uh, uh, any pre-built like uh, earlier there was a rocket and that was given by Django so it, it is not that kind of application it is the full-fledged uh, our raw application where we are displaying hello world and uh, this is all about uh, URLs and views in this video so in the next video we will cover more important topics about Django so this is about it so guys thank you so much and i'll see you in the next one